Words Aptly Spoken, American Documents, The Amendments to the Constitution, Part 3. Amendment 21, ratified in 1933. Section 1. The 18th article of Amendment to the Constitution of the United States is hereby repealed. Section 2. The transportation or importation into any state, territory, or possession of the United States for delivery or use therein of intoxicating liquors in violation of the laws thereof is hereby prohibited. Section 3. This article shall be inoperative unless it shall have been ratified as an amendment to the Constitution by conventions in the several states as provided in the Constitution within seven years from the date of submission hereof to the states by the Congress. Amendment 22, ratified in 1951. Section 1. No person shall be elected to the office of the President more than twice, and no person who has held the office of President or acted as President for more than two years of a term to which some other person was elected President shall be elected to the office of the President more than once. But this article shall not apply to any person holding the office of President when this article was proposed by the Congress, and shall not prevent any person who may be holding the office of President or acting as President during the term within which this article becomes operative from holding the office of President or acting as the President during the remainder of such term. Section 2. This article shall be inoperative unless it shall have been ratified as an amendment to the Constitution by the legislature of three-fourths of the several states within seven years from the date of its submission to the states by the Congress. Amendment 23. Ratified, 1961. The district constituting the seat of government of the United States shall appoint in such manner as the Congress may direct a number of electors of president and vice president equal to the whole number of senators and representatives in Congress to which the district would be entitled if it were a state, but in no event more than the least populous state. They shall be in addition to those appointed by the states, but they shall be considered for the purpose of the election of president and vice president to be electors appointed by the state, and they shall meet in the district and perform such duties as provided by the twelfth article of amendment. Section 2. The Congress shall have power to enforce this article by appropriate legislation. Amendment 24, ratified in 1964. Section 1. The right of citizens of the United States to vote in any primary or other election for president or vice president, for electors for president or vice president, or for senator or representative in Congress, shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or any state by reason of failure to pay any poll tax or other tax. Section 2. The Congress shall have power to enforce this article by appropriate legislation. Amendment 25, ratified in 1967. In case of the removal of the president from office or of his death or resignation, the vice president shall become president. Section 2, whenever there is a vacancy in the office of the vice president, the president shall nominate a vice president, who shall take office upon confirmation by a majority vote of both houses of Congress. Section 3. When the President transmits to the President pro tem of the Senate and the Speaker of the House of Representatives his written declaration that he is unable to discharge the powers and duties of his office, and until he transmits to them a written declaration to the contrary, such powers and duties shall be discharged by the Vice President as Acting President. Section 4. Whenever the vice president and a majority of either the principal officers of the executive departments or of such other body as Congress may by law provide, 
transmit to the President pro tem of the Senate and the Speaker of the House of Representatives their written declaration that the President is unable to discharge the powers and duties of his office. The Vice President shall immediately assume the powers and duties of the office as Acting President. Thereafter, the President transmits to the President pro temp of the Senate and the Speaker of the House of Representatives his written declaration that no inability exists. He shall resume the powers and duties of his office unless the Vice President and a majority of either the principal officers of the Executive Department or of such body as Congress may by law provide transmit within four days to the President pro tem of the Senate and the Speaker of the House of Representatives their written declaration that the president is unable to discharge the powers and duties of his office. Thereupon, Congress shall decide the issue, assembling within 48 hours for that purpose, if not in session. If the Congress, within 21 days after receipt of the latter written declaration, or if Congress is not in session, within 21 days after Congress is required to assemble, determines by two-thirds vote of both houses, that the President is unable to discharge the powers and duties of his office, the Vice President shall continue to discharge the same as Acting President. Otherwise, the President shall resume the powers and duties of his office. Amendment 26, ratified in 1971. Section 1. The rights of the citizens of the United States who are 18 years of age or older to vote shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or any state on account of age. Section 2. The Congress shall have the power to enforce this article by appropriate legislation. Amendment 27, ratified in 1992. No law varying the compensation for the services of the senators and representatives shall take effect until an election of representatives shall have intervened. Well, that's it for the amendments to the Constitution. We'll start reading the Northwest Ordinance in the next video. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you guys. I love you. As Tigger says, ta-ta for now.